In this question, a mass is attached to a rod and moves in a vertical circle at a constant speed. And we have to decide what is true about the force exerted by the rod on the mass. By looking at this equation from subtopic 6.1, where F is the centripetal force in circular motion, M is the mass, V is speed, and R is the radius of the circle, we can conclude that since the speed is given to be constant in this question, F, the centripetal force, is also constant since the mass of the object and the radius of the circle do not change. Also, the centripetal force in circular motion always points towards the center of the circle. Let's then draw the centripetal force at three different points along the circle. There are two forces acting on this mass. One is the weight and the other is the force exerted by the rod. Based on this, we can write the following equation. Fc, the centripetal force, which is essentially the net force acting on the object, is equal to W, the weight, plus FR, the force exerted by the rod on the mass. Let's rearrange this equation to express FR. So we get FR is equal to FC minus W. Now, since the magnitude of FC and W are constant, while the direction of FC constantly changes and the direction of W is always pointing downwards, we can already see that FR will not be constant, hence it will not be zero everywhere either, so we can eliminate answers A and B. And since the direction of FC changes, while the direction of W is constant, we can also eliminate answer C and conclude that the correct answer is D. I will work a bit further and show this thought process using vectors. When the object is at the top of the circle, W looks like this. Let's find FR by using vector addition. So FR is equal to FC minus W. In other words, FC plus negative W. So I will draw negative W at the end of FC. And FR, the resulting vector that we get, looks like this. Let's see how the weight looks like at the second point. Here it will also be pointing downwards and calculating FC plus negative W, we get FR that looks like this. Looking at the point at the bottom of the circle, the weight is like this and FC plus negative W will look like this and the resulting vector FR is this way. Finally, we can conclude that the force exerted by the rod on the mass is minimum at the top of the circle. Therefore, the answer to this question is D.